Hey, what's up? I'm Dominique, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my top favorite Sephora products of all time. I'm going to be creating a look using the products so you can see them in action and see how they actually perform on the skin. Now listen, I know Sephora can be a little overwhelming with so many different products to choose from, and it's really hard to know which products actually work and are truly the best. So today, I'm here to be your makeup bestie, and I'm going to be showing you my ride or die products that are absolutely incredible. I know I can count on these products to slay my makeup look every single time, so if you're going to be dropping a bag on some new makeup, you need to make sure that they actually work. And I'm telling you, these are it. All right, so without any further ado, let's jump right in and let's get started using my top favorite Sephora products of all time. So first things first, I have to admit that this Summer Friday's lip balm is the best lip balm that you can get at Sephora. And honestly, it's way better than the Laneige ones. There, I said it. I said it, okay? And I mean that with my entire chest. The Laneige ones are good, but for me, Summer Fridays just takes a crown every single time. This is the sweet mint flavor, and I just feel like the Summer Fridays lip balm is so incredibly deeply hydrating, and it lasts a really long time on my lips. And even by the time it wears off, my lips still feel super hydrated. I can't tell you how many tubes of this lip balm that I've gone through. My favorite one is the vanilla flavor, but they're so good, I just wanna collect them all. So if you know, you know. So the very first step in my makeup routine is always a primer. and one of my top favorite Sephora primers has to be the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. Now, if you know me, you know that I love me a good pore smoothing primer, and this one does exactly that. I like to use this by just pumping a little bit out onto my cheeks, and you really don't need a lot of this. Oh my god, this primer smells so, so good. It smells just like you're at the spa, which makes it so pleasant to use. It really gets me in the mood. Then, I like to just rub the primer into my skin using my hands. I like to keep it in areas where I have the most pores because it is a pore smoothing primer. So for me, that would be mostly on my cheeks, a little bit on my nose, and then whatever I have left over on my fingertips, I'm gonna bring up to my forehead. Now this primer really makes my skin just feel so smooth and very hydrated. And not only does it actually smooth out my skin, it actually fills in all of my pores. And when I'm looking in the mirror, I'm like, dang, my skin kinda looks good right now. And really, I want my skin to be set up for success before I apply my foundation on top, because if my skin looks and feels good, my foundation is gonna do the exact same. The Tatcha liquid silk canvas primer has been around for a long long time and to me it's a classic in the primer department and since this primer can withstand the test of time that's how you know she is such a beautiful primer and if you ever get to try this out first you're gonna be obsessed with how it smells and second I know you're gonna love this primer as much as I do now after I prime my skin with a primer I like to go right in with some foundation and my favorite Sephora foundations change literally all the time but I do have to admit there is one foundation that I always find myself going back to every single time and that would be the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. In this foundation, I wear the shade 200 Light Medium Neutral. Now, I don't even know where to begin on this foundation. It is simply perfection in a bottle, and I truly think that this is one of the most versatile foundations that I have in my collection. I think every single skin type on the planet is going to love this foundation. It's a clean foundation too, so you know that means the ingredients are just right. So how I apply this foundation is I just pump one pump on the back of my hand, because the key to success when you do your foundation is always using the tiny amount needed to cover your entire face. And then I'll just pick up some product off the back of my hand onto my foundation brush and I'll start applying it directly to my skin. I like to really stamp the foundation onto my skin. I don't like to do any swirling motions or anything like that. I like to just sit here and stamp, stamp, stamp. This foundation definitely gives more of a medium coverage, so it's not too heavy or thick, but it's gonna cover up everything in such a natural and beautiful way. And plus, it leaves my skin with a nice, dewy, glowy finish, but it's not over the top glowy, it's very natural, which is why why this is truly such a good every single day foundation. Lady Gaga is actually the owner of House Labs and I was watching a video of her doing her makeup using this foundation and she said that the formula of this foundation consists of about 80% of skincare, which is actually insane. What do you mean the foundation has 80% skincare ingredients inside of it? I mean, no wonder why I love this foundation so much. It really does leave my skin looking like perfection every single time I use it. It never looks cakey and never clings to any of my pores or texture. It just really makes my skin looks so natural, radiant, and hydrated all day long. And it's very thin and lightweight, so it does not feel heavy on the skin at all. Which is such a win, because I love a good lightweight foundation. So then, after I apply the foundation onto my skin with a brush, I like to take a little beauty sponge, and I use it to help press the foundation into my skin just one more time. And this step right here is really going to take your foundation to the next level. And you're gonna see a really big difference in how it looks on your skin, especially in person. It's going to smooth everything out, and then your foundation is going to look absolutely incredible after you do this. 
oh my god there is a helicopter a plane a helicopter flying right over my apartment that's crazy and it's an orange helicopter Ooh, i don't know about that one i mean do you see how radiant and how glowy my skin looks and that's exactly why i love this foundation so much 10 out of 10 i'm truly obsessed with this oh would you look at the time it's definitely time for a dr pepper break i love that i love a good dr pepper so cheers now one of my favorite concealers definitely has to be the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. I love this concealer and I don't care who knows it. And today I'm going to be using the shade Cotton. You know I have so many different concealers and I use them all on rotation but this concealer right here is one that I will always find myself going back to use especially when I need my makeup to last all day long and actually look good. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this concealer underneath my eyes and I'm also going to apply it on my eyelids as well because I'm going to use this concealer as an eyeshadow primer because it really evens out my eyelids and it really does help my eyeshadows last all day long and look super vibrant on my skin as well. The concealer is so creamy and so smooth that it just glides onto my skin when I apply it. And I know I sound a little bit dramatic, but oh my god, this concealer is really unlike anything else I've ever tried. This concealer is so beyond creamy. It blends out just like a dream onto my skin. I mean, you see how smooth it's just blending out because it is truly perfection every single time I use it. It provides a really nice full coverage look to underneath my eyes and it never looks cakey underneath my eyes and especially when you're using a concealer you want to use the tiniest amount of concealer needed to cover up your under eye area the less concealer you use the less creases you're gonna see throughout the day I know I can trust this concealer to last all day long and still look good even at the end of the day when I go to take off my makeup it's gonna make your eyes look airbrushed all day and it's truly crazy for that now again I'm gonna take my little beauty sponge and I'm gonna use it to help press the concealer into my skin and just like the foundation it's truly Really gonna smooth everything out and it's really just gonna give this a very skin like finish I feel like a brush simply cannot press the foundation and concealer into my skin like a sponge can so that's why I have to use it every single time after I apply it with a brush so next up in my makeup routine is always cream bronzer and my favorite cream bronzer that you could get at Sephora out of all the cream bronzers in the entire store definitely has to be the LYS Beauty no limits cream contour and bronzer stick and in this I wear the shade Harmony now let me tell tell you something about this cream bronzer. This has to be one of the most creamiest, most easy to blend out bronzer stick that I have simply ever tried. And the coverage on this is definitely medium to full coverage. So you're gonna look super bronzed and super contoured, literally instantly. This one is a must have in your collection. So I'm just going to apply this by adding a few dots on the hollows of my cheeks. I mean, do you see how easy it applies to my cheeks? And it's just so pigmented right off the bat. And a little bit of this product goes a really long way as well. I've had this for so long and this is probably my most used bronzer stick out of all of them that I have in my collection and I still have a lot of product left after using this almost every single day. I know I've talked about this product so so much on my channel but truly I have not found another bronzer stick that compares to this. I just can't believe how good this formula is. I mean watch how easy it blends out on my skin. You're gonna be shook. So I take my little brush and I start by stamping it out onto my cheeks and then I like to bring it up towards my temples so I really help to lift up my face. You know you want to bring everything up 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 on your cheeks and you never want to drag anything down so I'm just gonna do some stamping motions and you see how easily that blended out so fast so quick and easy and it looks like a dream on my skin already I really love the shade of this bronzer as well oh my god this is just so stunning I mean are you kidding me do you see this are you serious how is this so good I really don't know what they put in this bronzer stick but whatever they did they did that and I think I need to calm down because I'm getting a little riled up about how much I love this bronzer but it's crazy because I cannot help myself. And now with my little beauty sponge, I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I've been doing so far throughout this video. I'm going to use it to press the cream bronzer into my skin. I do this step after every single cream product that I apply. And I mean, do you see how it just made this bronzer just look so much better? Now, when it comes to cream blush, this is such a hard decision for me. I truly don't know which one to include in this video because there's two that I'm really debating on. So I guess I'll just share them both with you. So the first cream blush definitely has to be the Huda Beauty Blush Filter Liquid Blush. And in this, I have the shade Strawberry Cream. This is just such a gorgeous, beautiful, easy to blend out pink blush. And really the formula, 
Oh my god, it smells just like strawberries. It's insane. It's very sweet and it kind of gives this blush a very fun touch. But I'm telling you, the formula on this is chef's kiss. It blends out so evenly and so beautifully and it gives your skin a really nice soft glow to it which is why I really love it so much especially as the dry skin queen that I am I want to be glowing at all times and the second cream blush that I have is the makeup by Mario soft pop plumping blush veil and in this I have the shade perfect pink this blush right here has such a unique and beautiful formula it is so thin very lightweight and truly it's a little bit more on the sheer side of things so you can build this up to be as pigmented as you want and not only that it is so in insanely glowy and it gives my skin such a beautiful hydrated look so I think I'm going to be using this blush today and I love a good blush and a compact like this because it really helps to control how much product you apply to your skin so I like take my little blush brush and I go right into the jar and then I start stamping it directly onto my cheeks and you see how the formula of this is kind of sheer so if you're someone who doesn't love an intense blush moment but you like a little wash of color this blush is going to be for you now I love me a good blush moment and I want my cheeks to be super blushy, so I go in with about three layers of this blush, and to me, that is perfect. The formula of this blush definitely reminds me more of like a gel cream. It is so beautiful, so soft, and this blush blends out as soon as the product hits my cheek. It blends out just like a dream, and you see that beautiful soft glow that it gives my cheeks? Oh my gosh, yes, that is why I love this blush so much. This product is so beautiful that you could wear this on bare skin with nothing underneath it, and it will still look incredible. And you know the drill by now. I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna press the cream blush into my skin. And this is the last time that I'm going to be using this sponge throughout my entire look today. And you see how beautiful and glowy my skin looks? That's all thanks to these beautiful products that I'm using today. I mean, so far, are they slaying or what? Now it's the time in my makeup routine where I go ahead and I set the cream products into place with some powder. And one of my all-time favorite setting powders that you could get at Sephora definitely has to be the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. And in this I have the shade Peach Pie. First of all, the way that this powder smells is seriously so good. Oh my god, it smells so good. Quite honestly, I use this so much that I even forget that there's a fragrance in here. Probably just because I'm so used to it, but once you put it onto your skin, you cannot smell it anymore at all. So I'm gonna take my little powder puff from She Glam. Sorry, I know that it's not from Sephora, but I love this powder puff. And I'm just gonna pick up a little powder and I'm going to set directly underneath my eyes first. It is very important that you set your concealer into place because the powder is what's gonna make your concealer last all day long with no creases and then once I get the powder onto my skin I just like to press it in until you can't see it any longer so I'm just gonna sit here and press 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 until it's all blended in I'm also going to set my eyelids as well and really any other place that I typically crease like my smile lines a little bit on my forehead as well and I cannot forget to set my nose either I'm not going to apply too much of this powder because I definitely want the glow from the other products still to peek through so I'm really just setting my face in very specific areas that need to be set. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but this powder just airbrushed and blurred my skin to perfection. And really, that's why I love this powder so much. I mean, you can see it just set everything into place, but yet it looks like I have a filter on my skin right now, even though there are no filters at all on this video. I mean, it does not cling to any of my pores, texture, or dry spots either, and it feels so lightweight on the skin. And truly, I am so picky when it comes to powders because I am a dry skin queen, and I hate hate when powders make me look more dry and crusty, but this one does not, even though it does a really good job of helping to control oils throughout the day as well. So again, this is another product that any skin type is going to love. This powder is to die for. Okay, real quick, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite eye products. Rapid Fire Edition. So my favorite mascara is definitely the Rare Beauty Mascara. It does not transfer to my lid and it does not flake. It does both lengthening and volumizing. It lasts all day long and overall, I am so obsessed with this mascara. It is too good. Next, my favorite liquid liner is definitely the Too Faced Better Than Sex liquid liner. I love, love, love this liner, okay? It does not smudge. It lasts all day long, and it's very easy to create a wing with. I love that it has a brush tip instead of a felt tip, and it really is just so beautiful. And then for the eyebrows, I love the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. It's so creamy. It lasts all day long, and it's very easy to use. I love the skinny pencils because it really helps to define my eyebrows, and this is just such a classic, amazing eyebrow pencil. And then for the eye brow gel. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel. This is a super strong hold eyebrow gel. It lasts all day long. It does not leave any white flakes in your hair. And plus the applicator is a double sided wand. So on one side it has long bristles and then on the other side it has short bristles. And this is such a beautiful beautiful eyebrow gel. I really do love this one for sure. 
and thank you. That was my rapid fire eye products edition. Okay, so now let's get into some powder products. So first up, I'm going to set my cream bronzer into place with some powder bronzer. And my favorite powder bronzer at Sephora by far is definitely the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. Oh my god, dare I say that this is my favorite powder bronzer of all time? Yes, it's true. I use this one almost every single day that I do my makeup. This is such a beautiful, beautiful powder bronzer. I cannot express it enough. In this, I have the shade Luminous Bronze Light. This shade definitely gives more of a medium bronze. And oh my god, I cannot, I cannot. I literally can't tell you enough how much I love this. So this is a baked bronzer. And baked bronzers typically give more of a radiant finish to the skin. It leaves my skin with such a gorgeous glow from within. I love that this bronzer is kind of more on the light coverage side of things, so I can definitely build it up to be as pigmented as I like without going too overboard real quick. And with this powder bronzer, I'm just placing it directly over where I place the cream bronzer, and this is essentially going to set it into place. This shade of this bronzer is so stunning. I mean, nine and a half out of 10 times that I do my makeup, I will be using this bronzer. It blends so effortlessly. It's so buttery, so soft and creamy, even though it's in a powder formula. It's wild. And I just like to build it up to the pigment that I like. You know, powder bronzers are basically powder bronzers. They all do the same thing, right? But this one just leaves my skin looking so natural with a beautiful subtle glow from within. And for that, I really die for it. And this is for sure one of my favorite products in this entire video. I will say though, Hourglass really, really badly needs to expand the shade range on this. But if you're looking for a gorgeous medium toned bronzer, this one is it. Oh my God. 10 out of 10, I will always and forever recommend this. Now I gotta set my cream blush into place with some powder blush, right? And just like the cream blush, it was really hard for me to decide which powder blush to include in this video. But when I was looking at them all, I was like, hmm, which one should I talk about? And I chose this one because I have so many different shades in this formula. And that should really go to show how much I love this product. So for powder blush, I'm going to be using the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duo. And today I'm going to be using the shade Just Enough. I absolutely love the fact that you get a cream product and a powder product in one compact. I mean, are you serious? I mean, this formula comes in so many different gorgeous shades and I love them all so much that I would love to collect every single blush in this formula. I simply use this blush way too much. I mean, I love this shade just enough. It's a beautiful baby pink that just helps to brighten up my cheeks and I've been loving that look recently because it just helps my makeup look a lot more fresh and I love how easily this blush blends out. It's super pigmented and it never looks patchy or chalky or crusty or anything like that and really you can see how stunning it is. This blush simply speaks for itself and if you've been wondering if this product is truly worth it or not, I'm here to let you know that it totally is. I mean you get two incredible formulas right here which is actually insane. I mean what other blush at Sephora comes with two different formulas in one compact? I don't know but this one is just too good. I love this and if you haven't tried it out yet I totally recommend. So one of my favorite highlighters at Sephora has to be this Rare Beauty Powder Highlighter and in this I have the shade Mesmerize. First the shade is honestly everything. It's kind of like a pinky silver champagne color and it's so so beautiful and not only that the formula in this is insane. Just watch when I put it on you're gonna be shook. I'm just gonna pick up a little on a brush and I'm gonna apply it to the highest points of my cheek and you can see right off the bat with one swipe it is so blinding and so beautiful. I mean when I use a highlighter I want to be glowing. I want you to be able to see my highlight from like five miles away. I want to look like the tin man and I want to look like a glazed donut and quite honestly this highlighter is doing exactly that with only one swipe. This truly is probably one of my favorite rare beauty products. I mean do you see this right now? I can't even make this up. I only have to go in with one swipe of this product and it's perfect and not only that this powder highlighter is so insanely silky soft and smooth. If you touch this it feels so soft and lightweight but yet it's insanely blinding and again a powder highlight is a powder highlighter right? They all do basically the same thing but I just love the way that this makes my cheeks glow. It is so soft silky smooth and it looks just like that on my cheeks as well. It just gives this gorgeous shine that I really love and if you're at Sephora and you're looking for a beautiful powder highlight definitely check out the Rare Beauty highlighter. Oh and I forgot to mention if you're curious about any of the products in this video I'll link them all down in the description box for you just in case you want to go ahead and check any of them out. And we are finally on the last step which would be the lip combo. So one of my favorite lip liner formulas at Sephora is definitely the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liners and the shade that I'm going to be using today is the shade Deep Taupe and this shade might be my favorite out of all of them. I love how creamy and how pigmented this lip liner is and quite honestly they're so underrated for no reason. They are stunning and they last all day long and they're insanely easy 
easy to draw with as well. And I love the shade because it's not too warm and it's not too cool toned. It's right in between, so it's giving super neutral. So with this lip liner, I'm just gonna overline slightly just because, you know, I got really tiny lips and I really wanted to find them and plump them up a little bit. I mean, are you seeing how gorgeous this lip liner color is and how pigmented it is? Yes, 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 I am obsessed. And then for the actual lip color, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in the shade Blush Brown. Just like the lip liners, this formula is so criminally underrated for no reason. I'm seriously in love with this lipstick. And even though it's matte, it's so insanely comfortable. It's not drying and it's not crusty and it's definitely not thick. This is for sure one of my favorite matte lipstick formulas in the entire store. It honestly kind of feels very velvety. To me, it's like a hybrid between a matte lipstick and a satin lipstick. It's very comfortable. The shade is everything. And you can really tell that I love this formula because I've got multiple lipsticks by Anastasia. And finally, I'm just gonna top off this lip combo with a little lip gloss. And my current favorite lip glosses change all the time. But right now, I'm really loving the Huda Beauty Faux Filler Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar Baby. It's such a gorgeous baby pink and it leaves my lips looking so insanely glossy. And it's kind of more of a medium consistency gloss. So it's not really thin, but it's not thick at all. And I can 100% say that this lip gloss is not sticky. And this will never leave your lips gloppy and goopy at all. And I love this gloss formula so much, I need to collect all the shades. And really, this lip combo just slays so much. I truly love it. And that's it. Here's today's final look using my top favorite makeup products from Sephora. And I don't know about you, but I think that these products really slayed today's look. I just feel like my makeup really looks incredibly beautiful today. I mean, these are truly the makeup products that I use consistently in my makeup routine every single time I do my makeup. So if you're in the market and you're looking to try out some new makeup at Sephora, these are the ones I totally recommend. And you know what? It's the holiday season and these products truly make such great gifts. I truly hope that this video helped you see what these products look like in action and what they actually look like on the skin. And before you go, make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know if you've tried out any of these products and let me know what's your favorite product from Sephora. And if I haven't tried it out yet, I will definitely be adding it to my list of things to try out in the future. And of course, as always, I've linked all the products that I mentioned in today's video down in the description box for you just in case you want to go ahead and check any of them out. And I'll be back next week with a brand new video, so make sure to go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss when I upload my next video. And then that way we can truly become besties. I seriously had so much fun sharing my favorite Sephora makeup products with you, and I hope you love them as much as I do. I seriously hope you had such a great Thanksgiving if you celebrate it, and I want you to know how thankful I am for you. Especially this Thanksgiving season, I am so incredibly thankful for you. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye! I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and P.S. Don't forget to subscribe so that we can truly become besties. I love that for us.